Welcome to this tutorial on how to install RPCS3, the PS3 emulator. I'll also be showing you how to install the Ratchet & Clank trilogy and get it up and running on your PC. By the end of this video, you'll know where to download everything and how to configure the emulator for the best gameplay experience. So let's get started! First, you'll need to download RPCS3, the PS3 emulator. So head over to rpcs3.net in whatever web browser. So .net and then up the top here, there's a button called download. Just select that one for me and then select the operating system for you. So in my case, Windows. It's going to download the file here. Now, we're going to open File Explorer. Navigate to our downloads. Click this, select Extract. Now that we have this folder here, we're going to open RPCS3. I'm going to select I have read the quick start guide and do not show again. I'm going to press continue and it will open up this page. From here, we need to install the PS3 firmware. So go ahead and search on Google PS3 firmware. Then select this PlayStation.com, how to update PS3 console system software. And then you're going to scroll down until you see how to update PS3 system software and update using a computer. You're then going to select download PS3 update. Now, just note, you may get this error saying that it can't be downloaded securely. This is because .pup is a weird file extension, but it is 100% safe. As you can see, it's coming from the PlayStation.com website, so it's 100% official. So you just select the three dots and then select keep. This may be different for Chrome and Firefox, but in my case, you just select keep. We're now going to open RPCS3 back up. We're then going to select file in the top left-hand corner. Then I'm going to select install firmware. Navigate to our download location and install the ps3 updat.pub file. It's just going to do this and it will compile the cache. This may take a second and your fans may ramp up. I'm going to skip ahead and then I'll show you how to add your games to RPCS3. Once the cache has been compiled, we can now add our game, select file. We're going to then select add game. We're going to navigate to our location with our game and unfortunately, due to legal reasons, I can't show you where to download these from. But legally, you can jump your own games from a jailbroken PS3. And there are plenty of guides on how to do that in other places on YouTube. In our case, we're going to select the file. I'm then going to pre-compile the cache, as this may take a second. Press OK. And this should take a moment. So once again, I'm going to skip ahead until this is done. Now Ratchet & Clank is showing up in the list. The next thing we're going to do is set up our controller. The first thing we're going to want to do is go to the pads tab in the settings up the top here. The options for what controller you can use is the DualSense controller, the PS5 controller, DualShock 4 and DualShock 3, so the PS4 and PS3 respectively. But you can also use the keyboard, which is a little bit more difficult. But in my case, I'm using the DualSense controller. So I'm going to select DualSense. And now I'm going to connect my controller to my PC. Now we can see DualSense wireless controller in our Bluetooth here. And if I move one of the sticks on the controller, in the bottom right hand corner here, we can then see it moving. You may have to press refresh like I did just then. And now we can see this little dot moving when I'm moving the analog stick. Next, just press save and we should be ready to go. Before you jump into the game, let's configure some settings to ensure you the best experience. First thing, right click on the Ratchet & Clank Trilogy, then select Create Custom Configuration from Global Settings. The next thing we're going to do is select this GPU tab and change this resolution to our native resolution. In my case, it's 2560 by 1440 as you can see here, so it'll upscale 200%. I'm going to change the resolution scale threshold to 64. This usually doesn't matter what you set it to, 
So I usually recommend 64 by 64 for a smooth experience. You also have the option to use Fidelity FX Super Resolution, which is an AI upscaler to if you would like to get extra performance. Next thing we're going to do is just press Save Custom Configuration and boot the game. It will always do this compiling shaders for the first time setup, but it only takes one moment. Now, once the game has booted, you can now pick up your controller and select which one of the Ratchet and Clank games you'd like to play. Ratchet and Clank 1, 2, and 3. Congratulations! You have now set up the RPCS3 emulator and installed the Ratchet and Clank trilogy on your computer. And for any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them.